Welcome to a new tutorial on how to create health bars. This is a very quick and easy tutorial. So just have a look at the video description. You will find two links there. One is a link to this image. You can download it and import it in your um, game or project. And the other one is a camera billboard script just download it and add it to your asset folder and then you're ready to start so i will create a 3d object a sphere this will be an object that will get an health bar set the position to zero 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 um just let me have a look this looks nice so then we will create a canvas in UI canvas. Um, this canvas should be in world space because the uh, bar should be in the world. We set the position to 0, zero. Now we have to maintain the width and the height. These are the pixels uh, for the canvas so don't set the width to something like 1 and 1 uh, because you think oh this is a good uh, size because it perfectly fits the sphere but then you will have exactly one pixel this is not enough so we will have um, a value of 100 and a 10 a height of 10 and it's better to set the scale down um, maybe to 0.1 or something even smaller and we will place the canvas a little bit underneath or maybe on the top of our object and this is where we need our camera billboard so let us have a look at the camera I place the camera at 0 to minus 5 and the rotation to 17 or maybe 18 and this is a good position because so let's go into day game mode you see it's directly pointing to the sphere and if we now drop the camera billboard on the canvas you will see the following effect so here's our camera billboard we can leave these values as they are because this is a ready to go script because now you can see this canvas is directly pointing to the camera. For example, if I take the camera, rotate it a little bit, then you see at the bottom the canvas is always directing directly to the camera. So there will be no weird effects. Okay. So the second thing you have to do is um, configure these bars. Uh, as default the text to type there will be default but we have to change it to sprite for 2D and UI. In our case UI is what we want. So and then we have a sprite mode. So this is a sprite where many sprites are in there or we can create many sprites. So the advantage um, is that you have one image in your memory but you can use it for several images or sprites so we set this to multiple um, we can leave the rest as it is and go to the sprite editor hit apply and um, so I just delete everything so this is what you normally should see um, there is nothing here and this is completely empty then you can just start to drag and drop one of the sprites you want to have. For example this one, I call this bar filled. Hit apply. Do it a second time. For this one, call it bar empty. Hit apply. And then you see there's a filled and an empty bar. You should make sure that its um, width and height are the same. For example here I have hiked 
55, apply. So now it's perfectly aligned to each other and we can start using these in our game. So we create an image um, and the image should fill the complete canvas. So click on this positioning tool, hit shift, alt and click on the lower right button here to just fill everything out. And if you scroll a little bit down, you see there's a source image. We will use the bar empty for this. We want to preserve the aspect so that we don't have any weird pixels or scratching in our image. Uh, this will look a little bit better. And now we see we already have an empty bar. So this looks a little bit off. So I will just move the canvas a little bit up. Oh. No, the complete canvas. So, and we will call this image IMG background. We create an image as a child to the background and call it IMG filled. This will be our fill bar. We do the same thing. Hit Shift Alt on this, hit at this icon, and we will drag and drop the bar fill to the source image. So this looks very good right now. Uh, we should reverse the aspect and if we now um, activate and deactivate this object we will see it will just be at the same position as the background. And we have some image type drop down box here. We will set this to filled because you will see what will happen then. We have a fill amount. We can lower it and we can um, slide between the value 0 and 1 and you see it's a radical fill method. We will change this to horizontally and we will see okay this now is now the value of our health bar. Okay this looks fine so good and uh, so this looks fine so far and we will create a script because I will show you how to just set the value via script because from the game design perspective and the editor perspective, it's done. Um, I will create a script called my script, create an edit and the editor should pop up. Here it is. This is a camera billboard script. You just um, download it from the description. This is my script. This is the script I created right now. I make a public variable. It's an image and we call this image um, bar. We get rid of all the unnecessary using statements and it will just suggest us that we can add a using statement for the Unity Engine UI. We will do that, we will save and we will go back to the editor and in the editor itself we will just see that there is a line for the bar. We will drag and drop the field and we will go back to the scripts. Make another um, variable, we will add another variable called fill. As soon as the game starts, fill should be run. And now I can see you, uh, I can show you how to use this fill variable and match it to the variable of the image fill. You just say bar fill amount equals fill. And we can test this. You see, as soon as I set a different value here, you see it will automatically affect our health bar. And let's do some animation. For example, we will decrease fill by time, delta time. This would lead to a decrease from 1 to 0 within a second. This is a little bit fast, so 
we will add a factor of uh, 0.1 to have a 10 second animation. We we'll go back in the editor and maybe I'll remove the camera a little bit nearer. So this should be close enough to see the effect. Now here on play. And you see the health bar is going down very slowly. And this is it. That's everything you need to know to create a health bar and to use the new uh, Unity UI system. And you can use the bars if you want in your own project. So uh, leave a like and subscribe for new tutorials and for new things in Unity.